everyone. I'm Nina Bailey and I'm the UK Design Manager at Formica Group. So thanks for joining the video on Axiom Worktops update. So I just wanted to share with you what we're doing for the new launch. So a quick overview of what's new is that we have 20 new trend introductions to the range. So we've really carefully developed exclusive workshop decors, um, including things like urban designs, authentic woods, and designer-inspired products. Then we have a new abstract category. So we're really wanting to show how we can add individuality into any kitchen with designs that have a man-made artisan quality with a very organic aesthetic. And then we have three new premium textures. So inspired by that ultramat trend for wood grains and stones, we're really using these matte looks to bring the decals live. And then we have 50 matching splashbacks. So now every single worktop in the range has a matching splashback, which is absolutely fantastic, um, especially if you want to achieve that monolithic look of running from the horizontal worktop into the vertical splashback. So a great new addition. We then have 13 new feature splashbacks as well. So as well as the matching splashbacks, we have things that are quite different. So we have a range of solid colors, which are grayed off, muted, trendy hues. Um, and then we also have a selection of exciting patterns as well. Within the new launch of Axiom, we are launching 25 square edge products. So we're now gonna have the range split between square edge and post form. So we've got 25 of each. And within the square edge, we've got a range of 22 mil square edge and 38 mil square edge. And within each workshop decor, we have selected what we believe the best edge profile to be. So there's just one available per workshop, um, and which will be really helpful for when selecting the workshop, because you'll know that with that look, the, the best profile has been chosen. So a quick overview of the sections that we've got and the new products we've got coming in. So we've got the blocked woods, um, we know these are still really popular in the UK um, and we wanted to develop some more sort of neutral colourways. Um, so I've got two new oaks going in, uh, the Danish block and the British block. So butcher block style, slightly greyed off um, and very sort of authentic looking woods that I think can be used in contemporary or traditional settings. We then have the rustic featured woods. So wanting to show something that sets our wood grains apart a little bit. So by adding intricate knot details, saw cut marks, and even burnt effects. So we've got all these different factors that are really bringing the wood to life and adding a bit more style to the grains. So we have the fresco oak, the beached wood, the ravine wood, and the charred timber, which are all gonna be showing those unique looking wood grain styles. Then we have the simple grains. So as well as the features, we wanted to also show that we can have these elegant style woods as well that are just simple detailed woods. Um, and we know oak to be still the most popular wood in the UK, so I wanted to build upon that. So we've added the Lido oak and the Nebbia oak, which are Lido oak slightly a more sandy pale tone wood, and the Nebbia oak is a grey wood, which will combine perfectly with many other palettes and things as well. We then have contemporary stones. So we've added two new stones into this section. We've got the Sierra Carnico, a beautiful, subtle veined uh, marble. And then we have the Kirkby slate, which is like a dark gray slate. So moving away from the jet black slate um, and moving into a sort of darker gray hue with a more simple structure of the slate as well, just to make it a bit more contemporary and modern. We then have classic stones. So we've retained quite a few of those from the last launch, but we just wanted to add one new refresh, which is the Nero Marquina. Um, and this is a really large scale, dramatic marble. Um, in this monochromatic palette, it just sort of shows how it can be so bold um, and striking in a space. We then have the new category I mentioned, which is the abstracts. So we really wanted to add more unique designs into Axiom um, and we've done that with the painted marble and the layered sand specifically. Um, so the painted marbles have that sort of stone effect, but when you look closely, you realize they are actually a handmade painted piece, um, which just gives them a real sense of style and personality. In that monochromatic palette, we've got the, the white and the black, um, which again, will just combine really beautifully with a variety of materials um, and different color palettes. We then have the layered sand, uh, which is this sort of sediment design 
um, that has a real natural feel about it. Again, it's completely um, unique to Formica and it's got that real abstract striped um, look around it. It's really beautiful and unlike anything else that we believe is in the market at the moment. Then finally we have the Shadow Den set which is a striped wood design with a very sort of subtle yet intricate fishbone pattern running through it. Um, the design has a real sense of new around it as well I think. We then have the concrete so we've created a whole new section for concrete. Um, we know these are still really popular in the UK and we wanted to add its own category. So we have the elementals, we have the corton, elemental corton and elemental concrete. Um, the corton is a slightly more orange tone um, and links quite closely with sort of like an oxidised copper effect. And then we have the elemental concrete, which is a more sort of traditional concrete colour with sort of cloudy grey hues running through it. Um, the elemental is really great. It's a very sort of what I describe as a hybrid product where it's look, it can sort of look like a concrete or a metal or a plaster. Um, it's a bit of an all-rounder and it will adapt to sort of how you, how you want it to work. And then in the same category we've got two new flint designs. So we also wanted something that was a bit more subtle compared to the elementals, so really paired back and low in contrast. Um, so we've got the Lulworth flint and the Purebeck flint, which are the same design. Uh, the Lulworth is the lighter one, the Purebeck is the dark one, but just really subtle, much much less contrast um, and a really nice soft look. So we have solid colours. We have had the white in the range before. We've changed that to have another new texture, which is the essence texture, which is a very matte texture. Um, and so alongside that, we've added the fog in the same texture as well. So we now have the offering of like a, a plain colour, solid, solid workshop look with, with those two. So they will work really well, you know, with a combination of coloured splashbacks, pattern splashbacks, or even if you just want a really simple look in the kitchen, a plain grey or plain white worktop can look really stunning. And then to move on to the splash, the future splashbacks, so we've got a variety of colours going in, um, in terms of blues, greens and warm tones. They're all slightly sort of more muted and greyed off. Um, the blues are sort of those dark, dual tones um, and deep, deep, deeper sort of midnight tones and then the greens are really sort of following the popularity of the blues in terms of people seeing the advantage of having green in the home and how that um, links to nature so perfectly. And then we have the warm colours of the henna and blush which are really fashionable hues um, and we see them sort of becoming a lot more popular in the near future. And then in terms of the patterns we've got some really exciting things so we've developed a new terrazzo pattern uh, with designer maker Olivia Aspinall and we've developed three new colourways which we're launching into Axia. Um, and terrazzo is just a fun pattern we've seen it been really popular in the UK and actually worldwide so it's a really nice new addition um, tapping into some new trends as well. And then we have the herring bones, um, which is sort of like a mid-scale wood wood pattern. Um, I think a lot of people would consider that usually as being something that reminds them of a pattern that would be on the floor. Um, but we're seeing things, you know, move from vertical to horizontal and vice versa. Um, and I think what's really nice about having this pattern on a vertical setting is that it's, it looks new, but it's also familiar because it reminds us of uh, what we've seen on the floor in before. Um, and then lastly, we have the molten bronze, which is like a concrete design with a metallic veining running through. So that really beautiful bronze metallic ink captures the light and just gives a bit of glam to any kitchen space. So that's my overview. I uh, hope you're looking forward to the launch and I hope that was helpful. And thank you very much for listening. Bye.